Still not convinced? Watch as I hit the grill glove with this 3400 degree blowtorch and it's barely even warm. I am now telling the computer exactly what he can do with a lifetime supply of chocolate. I'm Eric Von Anken, weekend anchor at Local 6 WKMG. You are listening to the Mike Cara Radio Show, Eye on Central Florida.
Well, welcome back to our next edition, the Mike Care Radio Show, Eye on Central Florida. Definitely have our Eye on Central Florida. As always, probably broadcasting from Frank's Place, 146 North Clark Road in beautiful Ocoee, Florida. And if it's happening in Ocoee, it is happening at Frank's Place. And right now, what is happening at Frank's Place is I'm being joined by a great band. They're called Statewide Drifter, and I'm joined by Phil on bass, Tyler on drums, and Ian, who is a lead vocals and guitar. And we want to talk all about your band and uh, you know the type of music you play and where you play and first of all the name I understand that Phil and Ian you both kind of came up with that so who would like to tell us the very even r- riveting story of all that started Ian apparently well do you do you want the, the what really happened or do yes, you want I do, do you, do you want can. the like yes, artistic I want, what we tell yes, people sometimes everything yes. everything <laughs> all right let's start artistic first <laughs> <laughs> well it's like a I don't know. Uh, you, you ever heard of the band Old Crow Medicine Show? Yeah, I have. Actually, so we kind of we kind of liked where they were going with that, and it's kind of like a. Well, I did anyway. I liked where they were going with that whole kind of a uh, uh, feel with their name. You know what I mean? As being like all kind of old timey, and uh, you know, almost like about like living on the road and everything. So uh, we came up with Statewide Drifter, and we kind of wanted it to be like. You know, on the move, and uh, as well as like a state of mind, drifting and like being in different states of mind, and just having different ideas and all that kind of jazz. But uh, but how it really came up is we we pulled names out of a hat. Somebody wrote down statewide, and another yeah. person wrote down drifter, and they kind of just ended up. And after a bunch of arguing, <laughs> we decided to go with statewide drifter. Yeah, but it's it's grown on us, so I, I like it a lot. Oh well, that's. That's great, and now I want to talk a little bit about the type of um, music, and uh, tell us, uh, Phil, a little bit uh, how you would describe your, your m- music, and is there a particular genre, or is it a little bit of everything? Or You know, um, we're, we're mostly focused on um, alternative indie rock, and we say indie just because we're all just completely different like musicians. Like you said, Ian's into the big old Crow Medicine show, like the old timey, like the Loud and Wainwright song, like singer songwriters. Me, I'm more into like the hard rock, and then Tyler, he's into more of like the like the jammy, like Dave Matthews band, but also like the '90s rock as well. And so we decided just to call it indie, just because we it's just a it's just a big melting pot of you know all these different genres that we all love. So. You know, it's it's very uh, it's very radio friendly. It's definitely uh, it's definitely catchy, and it just has like that edge to it, which is like just that real big in your face sound, which we absolutely love, and it definitely shows in our live show. Oh, okay, and yeah, we want to talk about. Um a little bit about you know the live shows we we understand we don't know if this will be up by tonight or not but we understand that you're you're doing a show in downtown orlando so tell us a little bit about uh, some of the the places that you play then oh god we've uh we've honestly played everywhere in orlando i mean anywhere from uh, club 57 west to a uh, bullet bar to um put at the haven a lot in winter park um and then also um, during the during the summer, we actually went on a little mini tour with uh, with a couple of our buddies, and we played in Fort Myers, played in Sarasota, played a couple dates in Miami, and then we were in uh, in Winter Park, and then went out to uh, Melbourne as well. So I mean, we've been all over Central Florida and a little bit of Southern Florida as well. Just any place that will let us play, we'll play. You know, any basements, any we played house parties and stuff. So you know, we just play anywhere we can get our hands on just some fans, just people to listen to our music, just to really get it out there. Oh, fantastic. And yeah, we want to let everyone know that there, you have some great music our audience has been listening to. And uh, first of all, is there a current CD that you're, you're promoting or when was the last CD made, actually? Do you want to take a, a question, Tyler? Tyler? Or? Tyler, yeah, Tyler, you want to talk? You could do it, Tyler. <laughs> Shybird? Sure. Uh, <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> About your <laughs> CD. What you got a new CD out, or is there something that you guys as a group are promoting now? Or oh, uh, we got a. We just came out with the EP. Um, it's, it's a seven-song EP. We actually uh, had done some previous recording uh, at uh, Full Cell, and that's where we actually uh, created uh, Bonnie and Clyde. And then we uh, went to Citrus Island Studios and recorded the rest of our EP with uh, Jason Stargy. Um, he's a great guy. He's one of our good, good buddies. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we basically just been working on that for the past few months, and it's 
it's just basically got it's it's done now. We're yeah, ready to it, sell it. It didn't quite come out the way we exactly it wanted out a little it to, better. so we're getting it remixed right now. So yeah. we're just waiting on that for uh, to come back to us. So we're, we're, yeah, we're working on it and trying to get that out there. But here shortly, we should have a final. So the songs EP. that we gave you aren't, aren't the final mix yet, but they still sound pretty oh, decent. Oh, so yeah. so our audience has kind of an exclusive look here. These aren't necessarily the the, the final ones, but then if our audience like like these and they want to hear the final ones, you'll have the CD uh, uh, put out in a little bit. Then oh okay, mm -hmm. okay yeah. I want to before I talk about the songs. Who is the songwriter in the band, or do you all write the songs, or? That'd be uh, Mr. Ian over mainly, there. Mainly, mainly I do. Oh, okay, great. And um, uh, John writes a, a lot of the music sometimes, and uh, we write a lot of the music together, but all words and melodies are all for myself. Oh, okay. So, uh, so then I, I guess you would be a good person that, to talk about these songs, but I want to get the, the other guys' uh, takes on, on the songs uh, too. But before even that, another thing I, I want to mention and want to talk to you about, uh, Phil and uh, Tyler about. So basically then Ian writes the songs, then you know he has the, the words and then the music, and then now do both of you come up with your own parts of the song or does he have suggestions or do you kind of just create the, the whole flavor of it together how does that work oh of course it's it's absolutely collaborative i mean me uh, tyler will come up with a mean mean drum line and then you know i'll just be able to to couple it with uh with a nice little bass line just that's you know it's just it's right on it's it works it works really well actually i mean we all we're all good musicians good enough to work our way around things and and we're and we're all like we're all really really good friends and stuff so we can just read each other really well and just when i know tyler's gonna go into something like i know that i can make something that'll compliment him as well as ian as well as our other guitar player john so i mean it's all very collaborative and we really work together on all of this with everything oh okay and now i want to talk about the the first song we have here very interesting title bonnie and clyde so ian now you wrote wrote this one and now i guess the question is obviously does this have anything to do what Whatsoever. I haven't had the pleasure of listening to it. I, I will when this actually airs. It has anything to do with the Bonnie and Clyde, not necessarily that we know and love, but the, the traditional Bonnie and Clyde, or is this a different Bonnie and Clyde? Uh, the song's actually about, I used to be in a long distance relationship, oh. and I kind of compared that uh, to Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, okay. So that's... It, so it is, the, uh, it is the same ones, but it's kind of like a comparison then song. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about myself, but I'm saying it's someone else i guess oh okay so so that that's where you get a lot of your inspiration is from uh you know real life uh, experiences and oh absolutely yes oh i okay. mean uh, it's it's kind of hard to write stuff when you don't know what you're talking about right you know? I, I know yeah it's kind of i don't know it's hard to get anywhere. Yeah, when, when it actually comes from the heart or when your heart is broke, unfortunately. Both, uh, yeah, both yeah. all motion then, huh? Yeah, and it makes it uh, a lot easier to perform as well, too, and have the point come across to where people feel you, you know what I mean? They're not just listening, they're actually, uh, you know, a part of, you know, like they're, they're feeling your emotion, and that, I think, really, that makes people get really into it. Oh, okay, and... That's uh, great here. One more song we'll, we'll talk about, uh, When I Was a Memory. So um, I guess, uh, you know, you could tell us a little bit about that. Um, that's kind of a funny song. It's, um, it's kind of just a lot of um, random lyrics, and uh, it's kind of about how I'm a little crazy, and, uh, and I, you know, I got, I got problems, and... I don't want to say addictions, but, I, uh, you know, or past things like that, but just kind of like a self-reflection song and, you know, kind of looking back on how I used to be kind of thing. Oh, okay. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take a quick break. And we'll be back. My guests today are our members of the band Statewide Drifter. What, You're what? You're listening. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You're listening to the <laughs> Mike Carroll Radio show i on central florida definitely got our eye on central florida as always probably broadcasting from frank's place restaurant sports bar 146 north clark road in beautiful Ocoee, florida and stay with us for our next segment welcome foolish mortals to the haunted mansion i am your host your ghost host <laughs> 
kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Hey, everybody. I'm weekend meteorologist Elizabeth Hart from Local 6. You are listening to the Mike Cara Radio Show, I on Central Florida. Welcome back to our next segment of this edition of the Mike Kara Radio Show, Eye on Central Florida. We definitely have our Eye on Central Florida. As always, probably broadcasting from Frank's Place Restaurant and Sports Bar, 146 North Clark Road in beautiful Akoi, Florida, 146 North Clark Road, as I said. And we have a great band here today as our guest. It is, of course, Statewide Drifter. I'm joined by Phil on bass, Tyler on drums, and Ian on lead vocals and guitar. So, Ian, basically, then, you're primarily the singer, and uh, does, is there any harmonies, or you do handle all the, the singing then? Well, on the album, I did most most of the singing and all the harmonies, and uh, they laid down some harmony tracks, too, for layers. Attempted uh, to lay down some. <laughs> well, you know, with auto-tune these days. Oh, with technology nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I primarily do uh, most of the singing. Now, Phil, Phil does some, you know, onstage banter. and a little, I would call it banter, yeah. A little, <laughs> you know, background vocals here and there, but, yeah, basically. Oh, well, that's the setup. 
that's uh, the, the setup. And yeah, we want to let uh, you know that there's actually four members of the band. You have a lead guitar uh, player, yeah, John, John, that couldn't be here today. So John Levy could not be here today. And we want to say hello to John. Everybody say hi to John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Ian, say hi to John. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Hi, John. And uh, so, so yeah, we, we want to mention that there's a lot of places that you play. And the one thing is I, I've told you guys I'm, you know, new to, um, you know, Central Florida and Orlando. I've been here for about a year. And one thing, although I don't get down to downtown Orlando, what really fascinates me is really the bar scene and the music scene. Although, I must say, during the day, uh, it seems like downtown Orlando is a ghost town and tumbleweeds are rolling around. I understand <laughs> during the night, it is just packed and there's just so much excitement, Phil. Huh? Oh, absolutely. The, the Orlando scene, like just the music scene in general, is just so big. And it's just all these places downtown, there's tons of people going out and they're always doing free shows. In um in downtown, just all the time. So it's just a great place to like you know get your music out there, and just people come and go all the time. So I mean, it's a great place just to be able to go out and spread spread your music. Oh, fantastic! And yeah, the one other song we we our audience has listened to, and Ian, uh, you could tell us about is farewell. Can you tell us about the inspiration for this song? Uh, well, the whole inspiration for the EP is is kind of like uh songs to write home about and it was kind of like all this like long distance kind of relationship idea and all you know all kind of that all the problems that come along with that and you know so that, that was another inspiration for the song and we were it's just a little bit different of a spin on it you know to where i feel just a little differently oh, okay so so yeah, those are some songs uh, that our audience has listened to, and uh, so so basically, how many songs then are going to be on this uh, C C D that we're talking about? Then, uh, like a dozen or so, or oh, the E P has uh, seven songs on seven it. Seven songs, and then we have uh, our debut e um, single, which was Bonnie and Clyde, that we released back in December, and so we decided not to put that on the E P just because we wanted everybody to have a fresh new look at you know just like our band and stuff. Like we're more than just Bonnie and Clyde. We have all these other songs as well so we decided to put seven songs in the EP and just as an EP just so that we don't we only need seven songs so after that we'll probably end up coming out with a, an album 12 songs 15 songs so that's what we're planning on doing in the future Oh, okay so yeah we'll we'll definitely look forward to all, all of that and now of course we want to talk a little bit about you know social media we know that there's facebook and twitter and i know that that you guys are well that's kind of where i i found found you was on uh, facebook so i i mean it, it's a great medium then to to have and uh, it's, it's a great way to get your music out there then oh absolutely it's a, it's a great place to get your music out there yeah, and have it gotta have it and i'm glad that you found us through facebook see ian we're doing something right see, it did pay off. <laughs> see? I, I don't think i'm the one you have to convince uh, <laughs> i'm on there all the time yeah no but it's absolutely done wonders for us you know we got fans from uh, you know we're all from different places in uh, the country you know um tyler's from indiana i'm from chicago i'm He's from, from virginia DC or yeah virginia so we have fans like all over the place and so it's just a great way to like you know get your music out there and just you know people that we we can't physically go out and see like they can't physically come out and see us live it's just great to you know have them be able to hear our music and be able to keep up with us like they're still there but they're not they're still so far away so it's great and for people who do see us live and try to you know want to connect with us and maybe see us again exactly or whatever Oh, fantastic! So, so yeah, that that it's gr great. And, and now, do you guys have anything on YouTube or any YouTube videos? We could we could not necessarily music videos, but any sort of videos that people could check out your playing or. Yeah, yeah, we got we got a few uh, live videos that we probably should take down. No, those are fine. <laughs> no, we are no, they there's older. Some, oh, they are old. Oh, yeah. okay. But like when we first started good, the band, though. there's some good ones. Um, yeah, I mean, we have an official. Statewide Drifter YouTube, if uh, anyone wants to check that out. I mean, if you type in Statewide Drifter in YouTube or Google, yeah, we're you like can't the first miss seven it. pages it's, that pops up in yeah. Google. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, we definitely want to check that out. I know a lot of people are on Twitter. Do you t Twitter a lot? Uh, any of you guys? It's yeah, all we, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> also, Phil, you're in charge I, of I the do, Twitter? I do a lot of the, um, the social media uh, stuff around here. Um, 
so yeah I'm on the I'm on the Facebook I'm on the I'm on the Twitter I'm on the YouTube and uh, we're actually trying to start a dot uh, com which is in the works as of right now and so we'll be able to uh, have another outlet just to uh, check us out yeah we have the domain but uh, we're not too savvy with computers yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know computer uh, design or whatever you graphic design yeah but the dot com will come out very soon though yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, so basically we had mentioned that those are the three songs our audience has listened to. Is there any other songs that, are, I mean, I'm sure they're all good, but, I mean, is there any other songs that our audience should uh, listen to or, or download? Or? Every single one of them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we, we really try to, like, not have any songs that are less than our... Uh, you know, standard. We, you know, we really like to play our songs, and if we're not liking to play it, we just kick it out. We like, like to nitpick a lot. Yeah. We we take our our stuff serious, and we really want to get everything as best as we can. And like, even though we think we've done a great job, all of us still kind of have that like, uh, I don't know, like we we think that we could do better, you know? Right. Yeah. I know how that that can uh, be there. So. So yeah, that's it's great. And uh, so, is there any more other uh, dates as far as um, uh, concerts or shows that you'd li- like to promote? Or? Oh, absolutely. We we play like I said all over the Orlando area. On the fifteenth, we are playing at a place in Maitland called the Copper Rocket Pub. And then the day after, we're playing a show at uh, fifth, uh, it's uh, West End Trading Company in Sanford, Florida. And then we also have another big show October 20th at uh, the Sanford uh, West End Trading Company, which is it's called Give Me Shelter. We're going to have a lot of food trucks out there. It's going to be an all-day event. It's, uh, it's hosted by uh, this uh, booking company that I work through called uh, RPR, Rayho Productions. And they're going to put on a big show. I recommend everybody come out to that. And then lastly, we're playing another big show November 17th in the land for the Rock and Metal Festival, which is going to be absolutely huge. There's all day music, anything from rock, indie to metal. And we're just going to be we're going to be there all day just hanging out and listening to a bunch of great music. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of chances that you can come out and see us play. Oh, fantastic. Another thing I I wanted to let everyone know about uh, Statewide Drifter is that you're all original music that you don't do any covers, not even during uh, shows. And uh, Ian, I guess we'll start with you on that, since you're you're the writer of all these songs. Have you found that an easy task to be able to do? I mean, how long the shows can you you do then with your original music? Then, uh, well, we're playing about a 45 minute set. Okay. Usually, um, we can stretch it out with uh, just you know jamming or whatever sort of for jam. like an hour but yeah we usually try to do about a 45 minute set and tonight we're we're doing what a half an hour yeah about a half an hour set so that kind of it's like three songs kind of cuts us off a little bit but that's oh, all right three four songs no we can like kind of condense, condense you know i'm trying to pick and choose which ones you know to tailor to the audience a little bit better you know with all the other bands we're playing with yeah oh okay so so yeah all original music but yeah you mentioned kind of like if you need to you could do like an original jam something something you know just just kind of the spur of the moment there too and yeah so that, that that's great great to, to hear i know one thing I've, I've i've found and and phil i'm sure you've noticed that in chicago at least where i'm from and it's not so much in orlando chicago loves its oldies bands and it loves its chicago blues bands but it doesn't necessarily as much love its original music bands. Yeah. But it seems like here, yeah, the guys that Orlando really likes to embrace uh, original music. They're then. all about the community. Yeah, it seems. They really are. It's literally just. It's like it's almost like a family, you know. Just yeah. like every everybody that I work with, you know, it's um work with a company called RPR, like I said, and then another company called Rec- Rec- Reclaim Strings Project. And you know they just we just get bands together and just we we play shows we promote for each other everybody's just helping each other out which is one of the best things about this Orlando scene just because it's like a big community we're yeah, all just really a big is. family. Oh okay okay that sounds good okay guys we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back no. for 
last segment. Yeah, we have to do it, Phil, but we will be back. <laughs> My guests are Statewide Drifter, and you are listening to the Mike Care Radio Pro Show. I on Central Florida here at Frank's Place Restaurant and Sports Bar 146 Woo. North Clark Woo. Road in beautiful Akoi. Florida, and if it's happening at Coed, it's happening at Frank's Place. Again, my guests are Statewide Drifter, and stay with us for our very last segment of this edition of our show today. I am the Big Mac. I am the Big Cheese. You might say that I am the Big Mac with cheese. <laughs> Hi there, this is Brian Nelson, House of Representatives, District 38, State of Florida. You're listening to the Mike Cara Radio Show, I on Central Florida. Welcome back to our final segment of this edition of the Mike Carrier Radio Show, Eye on Central Florida. We definitely have our Eye on Central Florida, as always, proudly broadcasting at Frank's Place Restaurant and Sports Bar, 146 North Clark Road in beautiful Ocoee, Florida. And if it's happening at in Ocoee, it is happening at Frank's Place. And right now, 
What is happening at Frank's Place is we're being joined once again by the band uh, Statewide Drifter, and we have Ian, uh, we have Phil on bass, Tyler on drums, and Ian on lead vocals and guitar. And we're also being joined by um, lighting guy over Snarf. there, Snarf, and and Ryan Cipher, and Ryan, uh, who is the I'm merch guy. merchandise merch guy. And uh, so yeah, we'll we'll start with you, Ryan, if you don't mind. I want to talk a little bit. To, you know. See, it is great when a band has merchandise, but it's a gr- even greater when they have a whole guide to actually kind of coordinate that. So what do we have as far as I know all of our listeners out there definitely want to get their hands on some great uh, statewide drifter stuff. So what, what, are you, what are you guys selling then? Well, right now we're working on a T-shirt design, but we haven't finished that up yet, but we should have T-shirts soon. And we have, we have demos we're giving away, which we just give away for free and business cards and everything. So. And we um, have bracelets um, from Reese Claim String Projects where we sell guitar strings where it's in bracelets or necklaces. So that's been cool selling those. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, we look to, to get a lot of that. Now, is that going to be on your your guys' website? Or? Um, yes, we should have everything on there. Oh, okay. So, we could, so that again, that, that's the fa- Facebook and the, tw- the Twitter and uh, you're, you're working on your dot com, so it will be uh, on the lookout for that. Okay, and now, Starf, you're the lighting guy, and uh, again, it's great when a band could have their own lighting guy, so there's a special oh, lighting yeah, lots that, of fun. that the band <laughs> likes. Yeah, a lot of fun, and there's a special way to light statewide drifter then. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, mostly, I just like to go out there and have a good time and uh, let it show, but you know, the, the whole thing about the lights is we did it ourselves. You really don't see anybody out, else out there with, you know, the, with the, I don't know, ingenuity or anything. Nobody else is really has a awesome light show like we do. And you know, it's a lot of fun contributing to that. You know, every day trying to tinker. <laughs> oh yeah, it's totally homemade. We have like PVC pipe and you know, just duct tape and why, like we wired it all ourselves. Like it's it's completely homemade, and you know. It comes out to this little. Yeah, it comes. Board, yeah, to a little. We made our own uh, control. Cardboard. With yeah. Two <laughs> you know, those yep. Faders for lights on there. And just... Yeah, yeah. So it's real simple. Do it yourself, you know. But uh, it's and you know it's always expanding. You know, every time I got a couple extra dollars, go down to Home Depot, pick up a couple more switches. <laughs> you know, maybe break like six of them, and then <laughs> and then uh, you know try and just figure out how to add as many lights as possible. Really. <laughs> oh, fantastic! So yeah, we're we're gl- glad that you guys can join join us too. So, oh, so thanks ba- for having us. Yeah. So basically, then uh, so you you have the merch guy, the lighting guy, and. And, uh, you know, John could be here. Is there anybody else then? Uh, I expect a makeup artist to come out from the back or something. Nah. <laughs> yeah, any, anybody else? It's great well, to I have, have these someone people. that knows my beard. No, no we, ha- <laughs> we used to have a dance choreographer, but uh, they dropped out on us, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, we're, uh, we're just a big family, you know, here with Statewide Drifter. You know, all of us, we, uh, we all live together. We all hang out together. We're, uh, we're just, it's just a big family, you know. And so we're just glad to have everybody. We are, we're glad to have everybody on board. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Else <laughs> yeah, that that's fantastic. It, it, it's great uh, that uh, you could be here. I, I again, uh, we encourage everyone to, to check out your uh, Facebook and a lot of different places. And yeah, we uh, you might be here playing at Frank. So if there is people uh, out there that uh, you know are looking for the kind of music you guys play, again, it is all original music, and our audiences listen to three songs. Again, they could probably email you if they're interested, and you could probably, well, heck, I've, I've got the, the whole CD. I'll just send, send them all of them. Yeah, just for you, Mike. Can send it. <laughs> I can, send I'm authorized that, that to send do. your music. <laughs> that, uh. We should, like, give them our phone number so people just want to call us up. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, can if just, you, you know, you're not you doing want. anything, you just want to chat. We're, we're available <laughs> just to hang out, you know. We don't charge anything. <laughs> oh, you might get all the takers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's, that's uh, fantastic. So yeah, so yeah, and, and any so we pretty much mentioned all the p- places you guys are going to be in the general area. But is there any other place that you haven't necessarily played, or are going to play, but have played that is re- really cool, or you hope to go back there? Or? Well, we're look really looking forward to uh, playing in outer space with uh, today's technology. You know, it, it shouldn't be in more than you know a couple months where we're starting to play on Mars. <laughs> so uh, there's actually a place out in Melbourne called Debauchery, and uh, they have really good a lot of they have a lot of people that come out and just kind of 
you know there there's a, oh there's a band playing let's go check them out and a bunch of people file in and I can't wait to get back out there we need to book another show yeah, yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne's a great place to go to yeah everyone's everyone's nice there everyone yeah. is awesome and it's just people like coming off the street it, half the time it's like no one knows that we're gonna be there and like they just hear us at debauchery and they come right off the street and they're having a good time so it's it's awesome there that's one yeah. that's one place that I really like to play but honestly like just if we can play anywhere uh, it'd be out of Florida you know just trying to get our band out of Florida <laughs> <laughs> it would just be to get our band out we of Florida would leave here. I mean yeah no definitely we would love to do a, a national tour one of these days you know just get enough songs and enough like product to uh, promote and just be able to get out everywhere. I feel that everybody needs to listen to us, and everybody, you know, they just we we definitely want to put in the work to uh, to try to get out of the state and uh, definitely try to get our music out there. Oh, okay. That that definitely sounds uh, fantastic. And uh, yeah, again, everyone could check you out on uh, Facebook. And anyone have any final thoughts about uh, the music, lighting, merch, and anything about any f future songs or any uh, anything else? Anyone? Well, there's definitely gonna be a lot of more new music coming out. Um, we're kind of switching things up a little bit. Uh, People will know that a little bit in the future, but uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna uh, start coming out with some new music here in a, a few months or so. And you know, if you got nothing else to do, come out to a show. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I mean, we whole, really, we really experience. put on a show. We do put on yeah, a show. Yeah. Um, it's it's not just like music. It's 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 a whole experience. It's it's there's we a got lot of energy. There's a lot of energy. <laughs> Snarf over here. It's great it's, at doing it's the like lights. An energy sprinkler, really. <laughs> yeah, just raining ev on everyone. <laughs> It's, it's, it's an awesome thing. Yeah, definitely. But also on a final thought, I want to give give Mike a round of applause. Everybody give Mike yeah, a round yeah. of applause for letting us have it. It's out here. You know, this is our first radio interview, and I just want to thank you, Mike, so much for having us out here. And, you know, take the CD. If you want to autograph later, we can do that, too. We'd love, yeah, I might. We'd love <laughs> we were going to bring you a poster, but we, it just slipped our mind. So. Yeah, oh, sign that and that all. But, <laughs> but again, seriously, thank you so much for having us out here. And seriously, everybody, check out Mike Carey. He's the man. Oh, okay. Uh, with that, I thank uh, everyone from uh, Statewide Drifter. You are listening to the Mike Kara Radio Show. I on Central Florida here at Frank's Place uh, Restaurant and Sports Bar, 146 North Clark Road in beautiful Ocoee, Florida. And please catch us again next time.